Hi, how you doing? Justin here. Welcome to IM136, where we're going to be checking out melodic patterns. Now, melodic patterns are kind of maths number games that we can apply to scales to make them a little bit more musical and a little bit more interesting. They kind of force all sorts of funny fingerings. Your finger will be jumping in ways that it wouldn't normally do when you play the scales up and down. And it's really good for your muscle memory to have your muscles used to doing things that isn't just playing the scale up and down. Now, we already looked, of course, at one finger solos which broke the scale up, and this is kind of another thing that you can do that makes your scale playing a little bit more interesting. Now, during this lesson, I'm going to go through four very common number sequences and apply them to the scales. We're going to run through it. There's tabs on the website, and it's really important that you see this written down on the website, because just doing it verbally like this and on video is going to make it very difficult to understand. So make sure you get over to the website and check out the number sequences written down. A lot easier to see when they're written. Now, the first one we're going to look at is this very simple number sequence, which is 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6, etc. Now, when you take a number pattern like that and apply it to the guitar, it's almost like we had the, the, took the scale and we numbered each note. So we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And we applied that little pattern that we just talked about to that. And we'd end up having 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6. Now, I've put a little gap in there to, to keep the talking, but if we take the little gap out, You can hear straight away, it kind of makes the scale a little bit more musical. You know, that's the kind of thing that you might have heard, particularly in the Baroque period, like Bach and Co. They used to use these kind of little patterns all the time, and they'd sound really musical. So that's the first one that we're looking at. This is, and it's kind of like playing up three notes off each degree of the scale. So the first note, up three. Then starting on the second note, going up three notes. Starting on the third note, up three notes. That's the one that we were just doing. Now, the second one I want to look at is playing up four notes off each degree of the scale. So we'd start on the first one and go one, two, three, four. Then we'd start on the second degree of the scale, play up four again. Start on the third degree of the scale, off the fourth degree, off the fifth degree, six, seventh degree. To G again, but we can keep going. Now, I'm, I'm going to go through a close up of these really quickly so you can see some of the little fun finger patterns that you have to put up with because you, you want to make sure for this that you stick to using the right fingers for the scale. This isn't like the one finger solos, we're forcing your fingers to do weird things. The third sequence we're looking at is 1 3 2 1. Very, very common sequence to use this one. Uh, the second one would be 2 4 3 2, and then 3 5 4 3, then Four, six, five, four. It's a bit ha hard to do in your head, but uh, as I said, you should be looking at these on the website. Sounds like this. In a close up in a second, we're going to go right through the whole position, but just get a, give you a bit of a taster so you see what they sound like. And the last one we're going to look at is playing a scale in thirds, it's called, and we're kind of going from the root note up a third, well, like so, miss one note, play the next note, then back to the one we missed. Miss a note, play a note, back to the one we missed. Sounds like this. So really, really important, this last one, this number four, this playing scales in thirds, it's called. And the reason it's so important is because melodies are often built in thirds. So if you've kind of trained your fingers up, trained the muscle memory to play scales in thirds, when you come to improvise, you'll probably use thirds a bit as well. And they do sound really cool. So let's go to a close up and check out these four melodic patterns. Pattern one.
Pattern 2. Pattern 3. Pattern 4. Once you're feeling confident with the four patterns that I've shown you here, it's really good fun to try and make up your own number patterns. The thing is to keep it really simple. Don't start trying to make up big complicated number patterns when you start off because it'll just do your head in and you'll end up with a migraine and wanting to give up. So make up a really simple number pattern, try and figure out the numbers first then try and apply it to the guitar. I've got some more advice on how to do that on the website because it's a very kind of mathematical thing, not something that's that easy to explain on video. So go and check out the written part of that lesson for more advice on making up your own patterns, but make sure you get this four that I've just explained to you down first. They're really important. So have a lot of fun with that, I hope, and I'll see you for another lesson sometime real soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.